Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Amanda Oakling and in this video I will show you the easiest way how to decorate cake and this is chocolate drip. If you're a beginner and you just start your journey in cake decoration, you have to learn how to drip a cake with chocolate ganache. This uh, technique is lifesaver for these who is not perfect in the frosting process because it's not easy to learn how to frost perfectly. But if you want to learn, you can see this video and I'm showing you step by step how to frost cakes. But let's start with ganache. What is ganache? Ganache is the main, one of the main uh, structures or fillings uh, or types in the baking. You need to know what is it and how to make it. And there is only two ingredients, dark chocolate and heavy cream. The ratio is one to one. For example, here I have 100 grams of dark chocolate and here I have 100 grams of heavy cream. I pour heavy cream on the dark chocolate. It's cold right now because I will put it in the microwave. If you don't have a microwave, just heat up a heavy cream till it boils and then pour a hot heavy cream on the chocolate. This is one of the easiest way, but I love to use microwave. It's cleaner and easier for me and I'm putting this in the microwave. In the microwave, my chocolate ganache will be about one minute to one minute and a half, depending on how strong microwave you have. And here in the middle, I have a ready frosted uh, assembled cake. It's simple vanilla cake, uh, don't worry about it, because in this video, I want to show you how to decorate. I'm taking off a side sheet. And already in my piping bag I have a regular uh, butter buttercream and I'm always using buttercreams with uh, condensed milk um, it's easy and there's two ingredients just beat all together and that's it if you are not master just put how you can a cream on the sides because we don't need a smooth all over the cake. We just need a smooth a little bit. Half naked will be great for this. I will check out my ganache. I had a perfect time timing. I wanted to check out and it's beeping. Okay, let's set a cake. And thinking about ganache right now. It's very, very hot from the microwave. Um, heavy cream was boiled. And anything what you need to do, is mix it with the whisk or with the blender. If you have a bigger amount, you can blend it. It will be better. But for small amounts, I'm using regular whisk and do it till it's combined, till it's shiny and you see that two ingredients combine well. Never use a hot ganache on your cake. For the drips, we need about 30 degrees of the Celsius. You will fill it, it's not hot, it just will be a little bit warm. Okay. I'm putting aside it because it's very hot right now, we need to cool it down. And in that while, we will just a little bit frost our cake with buttercream. Smooth out the sides. How I said, this technique is for those who don't know how to make designs or uh, are lazy or you need just fast decoration on your cake. It's perfect match. You see how messy I'm doing this. If, I can, if I'm doing this, that you can do the same. Just mess around it, all around how you can don't worry is it perfect or not because all the job will do this branch scraper and again if it's first time for you with branch scraper don't worry you don't need to be brilliant uh, with chocolate drips go around and smooth out it all excess which is leftovers clean it because we don't need it 
and scrape off this time scrape off the cream of the edges so press it strong if you see sponges in the sides that's a good one we need a little bit half naked that's it I'm using a upset spatula and I pull inside in the middle edges and don't worry if it's not perfect because we will drip a chocolate and no one will know and here will be this meme no one knows no one knows do it how you can then clean the cardboard my cake is ready and I want to drip it make sure that your chocolate ganache it cooled a little bit I still feel it warm I will start to whisk it to cool it down faster actually you can store this ganache in the fridge for three weeks and in the fridge it will be very very hard you uh, get it out from the fridge and uh, again melt in the microwave or in the pot and re reuse it how many times you want okay I feel it is good so watch very careful because I have special technique how I drip a cakes I'm not dripping with piping bag I'm not dripping with the spoon I pour all my chocolate all ganache in the middle and then I'm taking a small pieces of the ganache and uh, make it over the edge okay it's quite good amount don't worry and then take a small piece and pour it all over the edge and it will rain very beautiful when it's too small for you take again a little bit ganache and do it the same great we made it and look how good looks this cake and if your edge or some part of the cake of frosting it's not looking good then the drapes uh, cover all your imperfections and it looks very stylish what we want, want to do we will make a small decoration with berries and flowers I right now I have a spring and this is plum very beautiful it's edible I'm using strawberry always start with the biggest elements and right now here is the strawberries biggest one then put the flowers where you prefer and I don't know how to call these berries but you know write a comment <laughs> how call this common berries it's not blackberries it's red berries right I think so and of course we need the sprinkles it's not a good cake if you don't have sprinkles on it great and that's it you see how easy it was how beautiful drips we have and we needed only two ingredients chocolate and heavy cream to make this beauty of course flowers and berries make this job to perfection but yeah, I hope you enjoyed I hope right now you are courage to make a beautiful cakes for your celebrations if 
if you are a beginner or maybe you master in the baking. Uh, again, write me a comment who you are and, and which stage of baking you are. And if you have some uh, questions, just ask. I'm here to answer you. Uh, see you soon in the next video. And how I'm always saying for you, ciao!